Hello. Okay, cool. My microphone is working. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Anyways, guys, so this is the Trayvon Martin uh, George Zimmerman verdict analysis by the culinary gamer. I usually don't do uh, these types of things where I go and analyze, you know, like verdicts of cases or anything to do with the law because I really don't know everything that you need to know about the law. I didn't go to law school, so yeah. But I know when you kill someone, you should probably go to jail. That's not what happened. George Zimmerman was set free on the case that he was self-defending himself against this big teenage Trayvon Martin on the night of February 20th, I think, 2012. And I still don't get how come, like, court cases take so freaking long like people have to forget everything first so then like they could be like okay now, now it's fair because this happened 2012 in February the verdict wasn't even founded until uh, 2013 July 13th which was yesterday so I, I, I don't understand it, but whatever. That's just how the world works and how the United States court system just works. Anyways, so let's get on with this little story. So George Zimmerman was driving around and uh, he was just, uh, he saw Trayvon Martin. And he was like, yo, this, this, this guy up to no good. Let me call the policio. So he calls the policio and he's like, okay, police, um... We got a little problem here. Um, this is this guy. He looks like he's on drugs or something. He's up to no good, I think. And um, yeah, you gotta come here and invest him. Police are like, all right. So I'm just trying to check him out on my computer. Nah, he's he, he's got no criminal record. He, he's good. So nah, I'm just kidding. They didn't do that. But they were like, okay, whatever, sure, man. And so they're not coming, whatever. So. Mr. Zimmerman being the town security or whatever watch program, um, head, head of the watch program, he, uh, he decides to walk up to Mr., uh, Mr. Trayvon Martin, and he's like, yeah, boy, so, uh, he's just, like, talking to him, and then they, they, they apparently get into a little tussle or something, so he pulls out a gun and goes, like, boom! And shoots him in the chest from like point blank, basically. So, Trayvon Martin, yeah, Trayvon Martin is basically just gonna die because you just shot him in the chest at point blank. This is not Call of Duty. You will die if you get shot point blank. Not like Call of Duty where you shoot someone in the face with a shotgun and then they turn around and kill you. Kill you. Okay. Anyways, so uh, Trayvon Martin ended up dying. Uh, probably bled out or something and um, George Zimmerman was not even founded for any type of manslaughter at first because he um, he had uh, some cuts on the back of his head and um, he was bleeding from his nose so apparently you're allowed to shoot people if they punch you possibly or if you run into a car door and you, and you break your nose, you, you'll have to pull out a gun and shoot someone in the chest. Yeah. This makes fight. real sense. He didn't, Mr. Trayvon Martin didn't even have a weapon on him. No knife, no gun, no nothing. So, th this, this makes perfect sense. So, you kill someone. Most likely, it was intentional. Or... Um, you had the thought process to find your gun in your car, pick it up, turn around, and shoot him in the heart. Now, I think that's that takes pretty good uh, thinking skills, because if you're getting beaten up and you're not... First of all, how are you getting beaten up outside of your car and grab the gun inside your car? 
Okay, yo, if you're getting beaten up, you're gonna be on the ground. You're gonna be like, oh shit, my head hurts. Oh damn, oh damn. That's how you're gonna be. You're not gonna be like, oh man, I gotta go get my gun and like shoot the guy. You know, that's just that's in, that's intended murder. No, so no, Mr. Zimmerman, I, I think maybe you should have went to jail. Maybe not a life sentence. That's kind of locked. I I think. Being sent away for life for killing one person is kind of OD, but if you get like 20 years, that, that makes sense, you know? Take at least the person's age, and that's how long you have to sentence for. Trayvon Martin was like 17, I think, somewhere around there, not yet, uh, 18, I think. I, I, I don't remember his exact age, sorry. So I think you should have at least gotten his age as your sentence, if not more years, but not full life, because that just that's just mean. I think only only like serial killers should get that or the death penalty or any other. But anyways, so Mr. Zimmerman, I think you should be in jail. But those six women found you not guilty. So um, congrats for not being put in jail. But seriously, if you kill someone, you should probably go to jail. Alright guys, so tell me, what do you think about this case? Uh, you think he should be free as he is? Or should he be in behind bars eating some soup from a bowl with a dirty spoon? Alright guys, so tell me in the comments uh, if you would like to hear more of these uh, analyses, then tell me in the comments that too. Um, for other awesome videos, hit the subscribe button, it is down below. If you like this commentary, hit the like button. Uh, in, the, in the description, you can follow me to my channel, and you can go watch more videos if you like. And, yeah. So, goodbye guys, and um, have a nice day. And Alright, bye.